we want to determine the equation of the tangent line to y equals x times the cube root of x and parallel to y equals 4x minus 3. Remember, if two lines are parallel, then the slopes are the same. So in this case, we know the tangent line must have a slope of four. So all we'll have to do is determine the point of tangency by determining where the first derivative of the given function is equal to four. And then we'll have to determine the y-coordinate on the original function so that we can then determine the equation of the tangent line. So first, the given function or equation is not in the form where we can find the first derivative because we have the cube root here. For the cube root, the index is two, and the exponent on x is one, and therefore y equals x times the cube root of x is equal to x times x to the power of one third. And now we can multiply. The exponent on x is one. The bases are the same and we're multiplying, and therefore we add the exponents. This gives us x to the power of one plus one third, or three thirds plus one third, which is four thirds. So we're going to be using the function in the form of y equals x to the four thirds to find the derivative. So let's find y prime the first derivative. Applying the power rule of differentiation, the derivative of x to the four thirds power with respect to x is equal to four thirds times x to the power of four thirds minus one which gives us four thirds times x to the power of one third. Now that we have the derivative function, because the tangent line must be parallel to y equals four x minus three, the line y equals four x minus three has a slope of positive four, because it's in slope intercept form where m is positive four. So what we'll do is set the first derivative equal to four and then solve for x. This will give us where the tangent line will have a slope of four and therefore it'll be parallel to this given line. So now we're going to set four thirds x to the power of one third, which is the derivative, equal to the slope of four and solve for x. First we need to isolate x to the power of one third by multiplying both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of four thirds, which is three fourths. On the left, because the fractions are reciprocals, the product is one which gives us x to the power of one third equals on the right. Notice the fours simplify to one, leaving us with just three. So now to solve for x, we need to have x to the first power, not x to the one third power. x to the one third power is equivalent to the cube root of x. To get an exponent of one, or undo the cube root, we will now cube both sides of the equation, or raise both sides of the equation to the third power. Because we have powers to powers here on the left, we multiply the exponents, one third times three is one, giving us x to the first or x equals on the right, three cubed is 27. Again, this equation here is equivalent to having the cube root of x cubed equals three cubed, which still gives us x equals 27. So now we know the point of tangency, we'll call it point P, has an x-coordinate of 27, and the y-coordinate is going to be the value we get from the function when we substitute 27 for x, which we'll call y of 27. And we also know the slope of the tangent line is the same as the slope of the given line, which is four. So let's go ahead and state here, the slope m is equal to four. And now we need to find y of 27, let's go ahead and do that. Y of 27 is equal to 27 times the cube root of 27. The cube root of 27 is equal to three since three cubed equals 27, giving us 27 times three, which is equal to 81. So again, now we know the point of tangency is 27 comma 81, and the slope of the tangent line is four. We have all the information we need to find the equation of the tangent line. Let's go ahead and use point-slope form first, and then we'll solve for y to write the equation in slope-intercept form. For point-slope form, x1 is 27, y1 is 81, and of course m is four. The equation of the tangent line in point-slope form is y minus 81 equals four times the quantity x minus 27. This is the equation of the tangent line 
to the given function that is parallel to the line y equals four x minus three. This is the point slope form of the line. But let's also solve for y and write the equation in slope intercept form. And therefore we'll distribute four and then add 81 to both sides. So distributing four, we have y minus 81 equals four x minus 108. Adding 81 to both sides of the equation. And simplifying, we have y equals four x negative 108 plus 81 is equal to negative 27, giving us minus 27. Let's verify this graphically. The graph of y equals x times e cubed of x is graphed in blue. The line y equals four x minus three is this green line. We found the point of tangency to be the location where the tangent line would be parallel to the green line. We found the point 27 comma 81, this red point here. And the equation of y equals four x minus 27 is this red line, which we can see is tangent to the graph at the point and also parallel to the given green line. The graph does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.